Okay, um, so with this part, uh, I'm going to show you um, how to take uh, the data um, from your graph uh, and use it to interpret the graph. Now, at this point, you should have already made a graph. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do that. Just follow the instructions up above for how to do the graph. It's pretty straightforward. Right? You just need to include the right titles and then include the best fit line. So um, uh, it should pretty much make your make your uh, graph itself um, once you enter the data in. You just need to um, add a best fit line for the most part. When you do add a best fit line, you should see some data kind of like this. I use different numbers for the data table, so your um, a value might be a little bit different than mine. Um, but what you should see is a number and then E plus 0.4 and then centimeters over second. If you don't see E plus 0.4, you probably have the wrong numbers in the data table and you need to go back and watch the video for the first part on how to make the, um, how to make the data table. Okay. Um, so uh, what are we going to uh, be doing with all of these, uh, with all of this data here? Well, we're going to be interpreting the graph down below. So um, uh, I'm going to skip question two, um, right? You, you can answer that on your own. What's the shape of the graph and does the line go through all the data points? But question three asks you to give the slope of the best fit line. Well, our slope is given in scientific notation, so I want to help you with how to convert that into, um, into uh, a regular number. So this is... <clears throat> 8.2 e plus 0.4 centimeters per second. Well, what does that mean? Um, the 0.4 tells you how many spots you're going to move the decimal place. Um, and you're going to move it four spots to the right. And so what this number will actually end up being is instead of 8.20, it's going to be 82,000. So your number should be something similar to that. Now it won't be, it probably won't be as big as this because like I said, I use different, I used wrong numbers. I want you to, I want you to get the numbers here when you collect the data, but it should be something in the 10,000th place for your first numbers because this should be E plus 0.4. Um, and so, if you collected the data right. And so, um, uh, the point is, though, is you're moving the decimal place four spots to the right. So this is where the decimal place ends up. But for you, your number, it started over here. So basically, you should have two numbers and then a comma and then three numbers uh, when you write out your answer. Um, okay, and so then the units are going to be like this, centimeters per second. So we'll write that afterwards. Centimeters slash seconds. Okay, so that's our units. Um, oh, whoops, sorry, this was all supposed to go in part three. So all of this goes down here in part three. Um, okay, and then you're going to turn your slope into a for every statement. So for mine, it's going to be the variable on the vertical axis. So that's this one right here, position. <clears throat> the position... goes up and then it's your slope value with your vertical units so that's just this number right here 82,000 centimeters per second sorry 82,000 and then the vertical units are centimeters right that's what's in parentheses right here goes up 82,000 centimeters so again your number is going to be different than this because my number is skewed so 82,000 centimeters and then it says for every horizontal unit. So now you're going to look at your horizontal axis. That horizontal unit is seconds. So for every second, that's your horizontal unit of, and then you're going to do your variable on the horizontal axis. The variable is time. So for every second, of time. 
B represents the intercept of your best fit line. So now we're going to look at B right here. You can see that that's at negative 1.01 centimeters. We'll write that in. Negative 1.01 .01 centimeters. You might have a different number for your um, intercept depending upon how you measure. So um, don't use my number. Use the number that you get for B. And then turn your intercept in a statement. The variable on the vertical axis. So again, the vertical axis is the one going up and down here. That's position. So you'll say the position is, and then the intercept value with unit, that's, um, um, that's this number right here. So you put in the number uh, that you get is negative 1.01 centimeters when the, and then the variable on the horizontal axis. Um, so that's uh, this number right here. So that I'm going to put that in as time. When the time is zero. <clears throat> okay, so the only thing that'll be different here is you'll get a different number for the um, uh, for the y intercept right there. So you'll put in your value for the intercept. Does the intercept make sense? Tell me what you think. Um, and so it may help to rewind the video to the point where your time was zero and you figure out what the position was there. Um, and then write out the equation for your best fit line. So look, the equation is pretty much given at the top here. X equals AT plus B. So you can start with that. X equals AT plus B. But then you're going to put in the values for A and B because we just found what those were. So if A, for example, was 82,000 centimeters per second. So we'll write that in. 82,000 centimeters per second. Right, times T plus, and then we're going to put in the value of B. Here's B right here, negative 1.01 centimeters. Negative 1.01 centimeters. Hopefully that makes sense, and this gives you a little bit more sense on how to fill out the interpretation. Um, if you have questions about the parts that I didn't talk about or the parts that I did, feel free to ask me, okay?